Uh, well, Docomomo International was founded at the time that there was very little interest in the preservation of modern heritage, modernist heritage. And this uh, omission was felt uh, amongst architects, but also uh, with the heritage people in many countries. And uh, it was merely by coincidence that we found out that this problem was, uh, was actually very topical in many, many countries. Just like the architecture of the modernist movement was an international movement, so now we are faced with a similar type of problems in many countries with these buildings. So the heritage issue is also, in a way, a bit similar. And um, my professor, Hubert-Jan Henket, who is the first president of Dokomomo, and myself decided to found this network of professionals, you know, to exchange information, to help each other. And what we did not foresee is that it was, uh, there was such a need of this information that Dokomomo International grew immensely fast and rapid. So within like three or four years, we were more than a thousand people. Whereas at first we only expected 60. And I think the great strength of Dokomomo International is that we are interdisciplinary. It is not only historians or uh, uh, conservation people, preservationists, but also architects who are uh, professionally involved in this work. And by exchanging our, uh, the, the research and the hands-on experience, you know, this is a very valuable source of information. And I think that is the strength of the organization. Uh, my lectures today will address uh, a few of the projects we, uh, we did on modern heritage in the Netherlands. Part of it is uh, classic modern, before the Second World War, 1920s, 1930s. And some of it is also post-war. We are dealing a lot in Holland with buildings of the 1950s and 60s by now. And I will show how um, we can perform research uh, on buildings like that and how the research leads us to design solutions for a new use and a new type of economic and cultural value. Um, so uh, what I've been asked to do to here today is also to focus on the issue of glass and glazing. So uh, I brought some glass from Holland to show you. They are used in a few of my projects. And I hope to uh, exchange uh, some experiences with my colleagues of, of Docomomo Iberico from Portugal and Spain to see how things are done here and to show how we do things and let's learn from each other and I'm really looking forward to do that. <laughs>